Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody out there. Welcome to another helpful video on uh, setting up your old stream. So I am Monty Carl, and I'm here to help you out figuring out this whole thing that is Streamlabs OBS. And I want to make sure that you get started off right. And so I got a couple requests to go ahead and show you guys a couple different things. Things like how to add subscriber donations and other stuff like that so it appears on the screen. So that is what we're going to do for you today. We're going to show you A, how to go live and get all of your streaming set up so that you can do that and do that right. And we'll make sure that everything is good. And then secondly, we're going to show you how to do donations and a couple of other things. Adding different scenes, tip jars, whatever you can to the game so that you guys are starting off on the best foot forward and your stuff looks pro just like everybody else's now it's not obviously gonna look pro just like everybody else's you got people like dr disrespect who are using a two pc setup so if you're not using a two pc setup or you're not using your xbox through a capture card to the to the machine uh you know you're gonna have a little bit of a different setup than those guys those guys have these professional setups that are done by professionals and all that stuff so let's go ahead and get into that all right, so we are ready to go live and we just need to set up a few things. So let's go up here. We're going to click on settings. I'm going to leave this unedited so that you guys see every single thing that I am doing here. So that way, if you need any reference to where to go or anything like that, we're going to get you all set up and get ready to live stream. So click on stream. We're going to go ahead and put our stream key right here in the stream key area. Make sure it corresponds to the service and make sure you're setting your server up. That way, you know, you're, you're getting the best latency for the stream whatsoever. Here's my restream IO. You can do any of these fantastic streaming services if you will, but we're going to do restream IO. And then this is just a streaming custom, you know, difference between the two. So now that we got set up, we're going to go output. This is advanced. We're going to have audio track one with our software. And basically you want to go ahead and have your stuff set up like this. Uh, I stream at 720, but let's go ahead and kick it up to 1920 by 1080. I think uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. So right now it's 1280 by 720 and that is yeah i think so i think 1920 by 1080 is what we want to stream at from here on out uh so um, my bit rate's gonna be a little bit higher because i have a faster internet connection than most people do go to audio leave everything the way it is default default disabled default disabled disabled go ahead and leave this the same way it is that way you got all that stuff your video here's your video settings this is the base resolution i'm streaming at 4k and coming in at 1080p and everything else is pretty much the same except for common fps values if you want to stream in 60 frames per second you're going to take a little bit of a hit more so than most people but we're going to go ahead and we'll just uh, do it in 59.94 that way we're frame locked and so let's go to hotkeys. This is going to be important if you have a single monitor. You're going to want to go ahead and set hotkeys. And now moving on to advanced, uh, or actually go back to uh, hotkeys. Set these up if you are doing a single stream. If you're just doing a single monitor stream, go ahead and do that. General priority, this is normal. So you're only taking a normal amount of bandwidth. But I would go ahead and just leave these stream settings the way they are. That way you're not doing it. This is overlays. If you want to import your overlays from your current OBS or anything like that, you can go ahead and do that from this screen. So now what we're going to do is we're going to yeah use at your own risk, by the way. But now what we're going to do, we're going to go to notifications. And so all of this stuff here, uh, you can uh, import notifications here. This is just being notified of stuff and appearance. If you want to make it bigger or smaller or whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. So this is the general stuff that you need. And night mode, you can switch it back and forth. It's super bright. When you do that, click done. We're going to go to general. Uh, click done. Dun, dun, dun. And now we are back here. So now we're going to go ahead and show you a couple of things. This is the webcam. This is the magic eye. It uh, opens and closes the windows so you can turn it off and turn it back on as you please. And now we're going to go ahead and show you 
What are we going to show you next? Let's see. It will be, let's show you the alert box. I believe it is, uh, or at least this stuff up here. So how do I get this stuff up here? I had one streamer or one comment in the YouTube section. How do, do they have support for adding recent subscribers, recent followers, recent donations, top donations. And as you can see, our recent follower, our recent subscriber for some reason doesn't show up. I'm not sure why. But we're, uh, I'm working on fixing that. So here's your game capture. That's what you really want. And your name header, Manny Carl is obviously my name. You would go ahead and you can drag and drop. But to add a source, we're going to hit this plus button right here. And you can actually make it so that you can add new scenes and stuff like that, as I showed you in our music video. So let's go ahead and we're going to show you how to add a widget really quick. And there's plenty of widgets to choose from. As you can see, we have our alert box jar, all this stuff here but what we're gonna do i believe is we're gonna want to add a tip jar all right so there's the alert box as you can see there's stage's name uh, if you don't know who at stages on twitter go ahead and follow her she's super cute and adorable and she does a lot of the streamlab stuff but let's go ahead and add a tip jar right here that way we can do that and you're just going to rename that and you can add it and poof there it is magic there's our tip jar. Now we can move it around and put it wherever we want on the desktop. I think I'm going to put it, nope, maybe I'm going to put it up here, right in the corner of the chat, the webcam or chat or something. I don't know. You can put it pretty much wherever you want to go ahead and put it at. So I'm going to go back here and you can make it different sizes. You can make it look different. It, you know, you can make it in 30 frames per second. It's a widget. You can make it your own. And that's really what you need to do. So we're going to take the tip jar and we're going to set it over here or not or move it. No, I don't know. I don't know if I like it there. But the greatest thing is, is that you can move it wherever you want. So yeah, I'm going to put it up here on the top shelf. That way people see it. When they look at my charming face, they're going to see a tip jar. And that's what we want. So there's this is the alert box, that big box in the middle. That is where the alerts show up. So when we click on that, that is where all of our alerts show up. Now we're going to go recent subscribers. I, I don't know why it's working. I've looked through here to see, you know, why it's not working, but I haven't been able to tell why it doesn't work uh, it, like it's supposed to work or if I'm just missing something. I, I'm, I've got to be missing something here. Uh, when, and when I find out, I'll let you guys know. But this is the alert box and this is the recent followers. And so it's really easy to just go ahead and click on that. And I'm having a little technical difficulty, but let's go ahead and test our widget so you guys see it. So this is what happens when somebody donates to your chat. There you go, Gun Brothers Gaming donated $89 through Super Chat. So you'll see that, and you'll actually see it go into the tip jar. Here we go, dropping coins into the tip jar like magic. There we go, look at all that. Dropping, dropping coins in that tip jar. All right, so if uh, some you get a new subscriber, you get a pop-up. This is You don't see this really. You'll hear that little chime in the background, but your subscribers are going to see that. And so if the, you know somebody wants to support your channel or sponsor your channel, then you have this little pop-up that comes up. John donated $87. So there you go. That's, you know, that's pretty simple. And that is all laid out already in the library. So sorry about that. Oh, man, it's getting late. But... Yeah, so if you go to the library and you do all that stuff, now we can hide our test widgets. And down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see a frames per second. And now we're ready to go live. To, to be honest, we don't really have much to do. Here's where we can set our volume levels for what people hear in our streams. But for all intents and purposes, that is pretty much the best case scenario for going live. And just make sure your settings and uh, you're into Discord and your bug report. But make sure you have your stream settings and your stream key inputted into the right place. And make sure that you know you have the select stream settings. So if you're doing on YouTube, you have YouTube there and whatnot. So. Well, all right, so there you have it. That is pretty much everything that you're going to need to know to go live and make sure you have a successful stream. Now, it's not the end-all be-all. It's not going to fix all your problems. There's other networking issues that you know you can't always foresee. So if you're having networking issues and it's not going live, make sure you're going to your provider, your streaming provider, YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, Restream, whatever it is. Make sure you have the right key in there. Make sure you have the right key in the settings because you don't want to be a dope and go there and have the wrong key and have your YouTube streaming and then you have your stream key set up there. 
I've done it before. You go on for hours wondering why nobody's watching your stream and then the next thing you know is you're a big dope and you realize that you haven't been streaming at all. So make sure that you click that like subscribe and subscribe button. We're going to be doing a lot of these. We want to make sure you guys get online, get the best stream going that's possible. We'll have more tips and tip, uh, tricks for streaming and making sure everything is going fine. But until next time, leave your comments down below, down there in the comments section. We want to make sure we get you the help that you need. And if you have any questions or anything like that, I am sure usually I respond pretty fast. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, and even down in the YouTube comments, especially on these videos. I know that you guys, you know, help is of the necessary speed at which things go. So if you need help, leave a comment down below. I might even make a video on it for you. This one here, this video here is directly related to comments that I've gotten on other videos for this. We covered music the last time. We're covering this this time and it may seem like you know it's it, that it's simple but it's not it's not always simple we want to make sure that you guys are having the most important information that you could possibly have and that your stream is going well so with that said thank you so much for watching hit that like button subscribe for more of these videos and we'll gotta catch you guys next time for me i'm matty curl we'll see you guys next time agent out